finding your own path? Um, well, like you said, it's a lot of talent in the room. Uh, every day, man, it's just uh, go hard, go hard. And uh, I feel like I'm doing great. Uh, making plays in practice, so I feel like I'm doing good right now. Did you hear Coach Meyer kind of liken you to Evan Spencer the other day? What does that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, when Evan Spencer was here, uh, he was kind of the MVP of our team. Uh, so for Coach Meyer to say something like that, it means a lot to me. Hey, Paris, uh, I'm sure you guys have watched a ton of film of the Houston game and maybe have gone back last year to Clemson. I was wondering how similar you think you guys approach offense here at Ohio State the way that they do with those two programs. Both of them had a lot of success, and I wonder if you guys gained any confidence yeah. from seeing some similarities. Yeah, uh, well, with Houston, I mean, uh, with Tom Herman coming from here, uh, definitely our offenses uh, are a lot similar. And, um, you know, we're kind of just focusing on our game, you know, not really. I mean, we're taking some stuff, some stuff from them, but, you know, we, we still base it around what we have here and what our talent is. And um, we feel like we have a good offensive player right now. As a wide receiver, though, watching those receivers make big plays, they didn't run much in Houston in that win. You get giddy a little bit thinking, hey, you know, there's some spots for me? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, just to see those guys make big plays, obviously, uh, you know, catches my eye and catches other guys in the room eye. And, um, you know, we kind of just watch the DBs, uh, watch their tendencies, and uh, so we can get a uh, step ahead on, there, on Saturday. Is there any added pressure with that as a wide receiver? Uh, I mean, I don't think it's added pressure. I just think it, it comes with the, you know, the territory. Uh, being a receiver at a top premier school like this, you know, you got to be ready at all times. So on Saturday, you can make plays. A couple of your teammates have said coaches have been noticeably different in practice this week just because of the game. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed that? Yeah, definitely. Uh, like the, the intensity in practice has definitely turned up. Uh, prep preparation has turned up. Uh, we got a slogan around here: the most prepared team will win this game, and uh, that's definitely true. Uh, this is a big game for us. And, you know, uh, we got to be uh, prepared on Saturday. Is there a moment in practice you can think of that just kind of drove that point home? Um, you know, Coach Meyer always uh, talks to us before we practice. And uh, on, actually on Tuesday yesterday, um, he gave us a great speech just talking about how we need to be prepared. Uh, this is a big one. And, you know, guys guys really didn't need that, that speech just because of who we're playing. But then again, it kind of reassured everything and got, got guys ready to go. Paris, with all the hype that came in surrounding Oklahoma and quarterback Baker Mayfield, you know, as prolific as their offense was supposed to be, is there kind of an attitude around, you know, with you guys in your room in the locker room that you really want to go down there and show exactly how good this offense is as well as at Ohio State? Um, yeah, no doubt. Um, I don't think it's just this week. I think that's every week. Uh, I feel like, you know, when we out on the field, God, people don't really know, you know, what our, what our offense is or who zone six is or what we can do. So I, I feel like we have something to prove every week. Harris, when we would talk to Coach Meyer last year, he would always talk to you up. I mean, he still talks to you up, but he always said it was frustrating that you were hurt last year. He said you were going to be a very good player once you got healthy. Was last year frustrating for you, or was it nice knowing you're a redshirt freshman and the head coach is talking you up? Uh, it was kind of frustrating for me because, you know, last year, I mean, I wanted to make an impact, uh, but like you said, injuries held me back. And uh, that was frustrating because I, I felt like I could make those make plays out on the field, but with injuries holding me back, it was, you know, it was kind of hard. But um, for him to be talk, talking about me, how, how, how he does, um, it definitely keeps me, you know, my head held high and uh, keep, keeps me positive. In your role 